Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you dynamic resistance of diode. Here first I'll be discussing about basics of dynamic resistance of diode. After that, I'll explain you how to calibrate dynamic resistance from its VI characteristics. And at last, I'll derive equation of dynamic resistance of diode. So let us start with basics of dynamic resistance. See dynamic resistance means AC resistance of diode. See DC resistance means static resistance and AC resistance means dynamic resistance. Right. We measure dynamic resistance of diode in first quadrant of diode characteristic. See in my last video I have explained diode characteristic. So here if you observe this is first quadrant of diode characteristic in which we keep diode in forward bias. To keep diode in forward bias, anode should be positive with respect to cathode. And here we have third quadrant characteristic. In third quadrant, diode will be there in reverse bias, where anode will be negative with respect to cathode. Right. So dynamic resistance, dynamic resistance that we measure usually in first quadrant of diode characteristic. See near knee voltage. Dynamic resistance doesn't give proper calibration. So whenever you calculate dynamic resistance nearer knee voltage, it doesn't give proper calibration. You can observe here we have cut in voltage or you can say knee voltage. So near this, if you calculate dynamic resistance, then it doesn't give proper calibration. See cut in voltage or knee voltage that is 0.7 for silicon and it is 0.3 for germanium. And nearer to this region, we should not calibrate dynamic resistance, right? You can calibrate dynamic resistance somewhere over here, where you will be having proper calibration, means you will be having proper value of AC resistance, right? See, dynamic resistance is a ratio of difference in voltage to the difference in current. So here, in forward bias of diode, if you wanted to have dynamic resistance, then that is Rd, that is delta Vd divided by delta Id. And if you want to calculate that by differentiation, then you can have it as per dVd by dID. But usually we don't use this formula. We use 26 millivoltage divided by Id. So in this video itself, I'll be deriving this equation. So don't worry about this. In this video itself, I'll derive this equation, right? So dynamic resistance that is 26 millivoltage divided by ID that I'm, I'm going to derive in this video itself. But before that, you need to understand how to calibrate dynamic resistance from its VI characteristics. So here you can observe we have VI characteristic where let us consider I just want to calibrate it in this region. I just want to calibrate it in this region, right? So center point is this. From where let me take extensions so that you can get characteristic as per AC signal. So here on current extension is happening like this. Right. And on voltage extension is happening like this. You can observe here. Right. Now here if I change voltage like this. Then current will also change like this. Right. If I change voltage as per this variation, then current will vary like this. So here, if I say this is having operating point Q, this is having operating point Q1 and this is having operating point Q2, then here with respect to operating point, voltage and current will change. So to get dynamic resistance, we will be considering center point and with respect to center point, we will take tangent and at tangent, whatever resistance is there, that will be dynamic resistance. For that, let me show this characteristic by bit zoomed version, right? So here you see, I am showing you this characteristic like this. So that is this, where let us say here we have Q1. Here we have Q and here we have Q2 point. 
which I have shown you over here. Right. So what we will be doing is we will be taking tangent from Q which is center one. So tangent will be somewhat like this. So tangent shows what? Tangent shows that variation of voltage with respect to current. So horizontally we have variation of voltage that is delta Vd you can observe here and vertically we have variation of current that is delta Id and this slope is dynamic resistance. Practically that is how one can calculate this. Now let us try to understand this equation derivation which is Rd is equals to 26 milli voltage divided by Id. So for that first of all you should know what is diode current equation. Diode current equation. See diode current equation that I have derived in video lecture series of EDC. Still here I will be directly writing it. See diode current that is ID that is equals to IS into E to the power VD by eta VT minus 1 where this IS that is current due to minority carrier. VD is voltage applied across diode. Eta is ideality factor. VT is thermal voltage at room temperature that is 25, 26 milli voltage usually. Right. Now to have RD, we need to differentiate this ID with respect to VD. Right. So let us differentiate this equation. Right. Differentiate this equation. So DID by DVD, if you differentiate this, then this I of S that is constant, take it outside and differentiation of E to the power VD by eta VT, that will be E to the power VD divided by eta VT and differentiation of this term. So that is 1 by eta VT, right? And minus 1 integration that is 0. Now here, if you observe DID by DVD, now you see simplified equation will be IS into E to the power VD divided by eta VT, right? And this into 1 by eta VT. Now if you observe this equation 1 carefully, then see from this equation, from this equation, all you can say is is into e to the power vd by eta vt that will be id plus is right if you take this is on other side then is into e to the power vd by eta vt that will be id plus is right so let us substitute this over here so now you will be having did by dvd now that will be id plus is divided by eta vt right usually you will be observing this id current that is very greater compared to is why the reason is 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 current due to minority carrier so this value is very greater compared to this so we can further simplify this see did by dvd that will be id divided by eta vt did by dvt that is this and you see rd is dvd by did so just take reciprocal of it so you will be getting rd that is dvd by did and that is how much eta vt divided by i of d and as i have told you See, for silicon, for silicon, value of eta, that is 1, and this Vt, that is 26 milli voltage at room temperature 25 degrees Celsius, right. So, if you substitute this, you will be getting Rd, and that is how much? Eta Vt, that will be now 26 milli, right divided by id so that is what i have told you see this is what the equation that we use for dynamic resistance 
RD, right? So I have told you that is 26 millivolted divided by diode current in forward bias. And as I have told you, whenever you calibrate this, at that time you should not calibrate this nearer to cut-in voltage or nearer to knee voltage. At that location, that calibration will be not proper, right? So this is all about dynamic resistance. I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.